So we've arrived here at the Glendall car park, leaving a note here for up to 48 hours so the ranger doesn't get concerned. And I have to say, this is the first time I'm up in Dunkeldwe. I never thought that the mountains would be up here as well, but on the way in, we're right off road to get to this point. It's a dead end, and then we're on foot from here on out. But uh, in a great day, those hills behind me would be amazing. Absolutely, just one line, one after the other. Absolutely brilliant. But uh, we've drove right into the mist and the fog, which was predicted. We had a good sunny day on the way up, but it's not here for us. We've got about an hour and a half to two hours left of daylight, so it's time to crack on. So not long in, Eddie and Stuart are along at the water there. Much more noisier and very lumpy where they're perched, as you can probably tell by looking at Stuart's tent. I, on the other hand, I'm just right in here behind this stump. You might see the little light on there. That's in my tent, but obviously the low light's playing tricky right now. It's a nice spot. I'll get some photos. So you can see, that's the door open, the Terra Nova Southern Cross 2 tent. Let's show you inside. So there's some of the gear around the side here. And inside the, the nest, sleeping bag still to be opened. And clothing and food are inside, the mat's blowing up. It's been nice and cosy. So we're here for two days and two nights. Uh, the only thing about me I'm getting a little bit anxious is because I've had this week off work for months and it's the last week I have of my annual leave uh, before the new year begins for where I work. It's July to June. So the week off, my birthday's in the middle of it, which will be in two days time. And uh, for months I've been planning and working my way towards this new job and I finally got an interview and it happens to be they've put it on the 18th of April. So I'm a little bit anxious, I've brought some things to sit in the tent, read over, do a bit of study and a bit more knowledge of it so I'm well more prepared. But uh, the travelling, the distance, the timing, it's right in the middle of the week off, which is kind of halting what I wanted to do. I wanted to be away every day for the week, regardless of where I was going. And uh, so far, these are the two days I've got. But uh, they stay the second night, really rushing to get home for a few hours worth of studying, only knowing I'll be so tired that like the camping takes it out of me. Time will tell, but in the meantime, we're going to get some camp time, a bit of chat, a bit of catching up and uh, see what good footage we can get for you. So after a couple of hours sitting and enjoying the coziness of the camp, we have decided to go a little hike. Eddie's shown us the previous places he's been up here. Uh, not too much to see in the dark, obviously, but this will heat us up before getting cozy for bed, which I'm looking forward to. <laughs> well, it's been a good evening so far. By the time I arrived here, it's only been a few hours. We went a little mile walk there in the dark, had torches and such. Basically now it's uh, it's time for bed. I'm just going to chillax. I've got my book with me, my notepad, some study notes I want to read over. Hopefully that'll make me a bit more sleepy and I'll get a good night's rest. 
but uh, got a bit to do. It's going to be determining what I'm doing for the next day and so on. So, uh, yeah, thanks for joining me so far, guys. It's good to get away. The other thing I was going to say is some of my recent videos, I mean, obviously, I do with the prophecy stuff, living up to the name Prophecy Prepper, but uh, it's like I've done the one about Russia and the UK and EU and everything that's been happening. I haven't done anything in this recent week where the world's basically holding its breath yet again with the further strikes in Syria. I feel that sometimes when it takes so much time, so much research to then make a presentation and then put that presentation into work with the editing. It is a full time job with the amount of hours getting done on it. And the other thing is as well, is when you focus on that it becomes very negative. It becomes a depression almost in itself from the, the content. So sometimes it's best when I do a couple, I need a break. That's why I haven't done a video in a couple of weeks. And even with everything happening in the world, sometimes apart from the videos of that stuff reporting, hearing it on the news, everyone talking about it, you take yourself up a place like this very quickly, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's good to get a detox from the world by coming here. So I always recommend camping, getting into nature. It's a remedy, it's a medicine in itself. So uh, without further ado, I will say good night and I'll see you in the morning. So, so the guys are packing up. The rain was on for a few hours, early hours of the morning until the past half hour. All my gear's packed here myself. I was in here, it's a bit brighter. There's the patch right in front of you where the tent was. Nice bit of woodland. So, <laughs> so then some ranger. I'm no longer a day late. <laughs> Eddie come up basically says the plan today is back to the cars, get a breakfast there, although I would like that in the woods. And then uh, I'm going to hike up Corrie Fee. The worst weather's still to come, especially tomorrow. So once we come back from Corrie Fee, we'll look at another area around about here. It takes up a bit of the time. I'm more inclined to do that hike, get some shots, some scenery footage, but uh, last night in there, reading over my notes for this interview, nothing's staying in. I need to really get home, get the flashcards, get different ways of studying, read over things. Tomorrow's my birthday, which I'll be spending a lot of the time studying. And then the day after the early morning is the interview, so... I have to be practical, I have to... I have to be sensible about it, you know, this is my future. And it's a great opportunity, and I don't want to mess it up. So I need to break it to the guys, that that's what I'm thinking of doing. I'll make most of the day of it here, but then I'll be heading back later tonight, I think. I think it's wise. It's just the fortunate that I've had this week off work booked in for the last few months, and then the interviews came bang in the middle, and uh, it just basically put plans of the whole week away. So on the trail last night, folks, this is where we're walking along. The place is hoaching with frogs. So square sausage, bacon and eggs, potato scone in the pan. That's how we do it in Scotland for breakfast. Stuart's channel, Scottish Wanderer, is famous for his spam cooking and his spam dance. I think I had some as a little boy, but it must be at least 20 years since I even tasted it. So he's introducing it to me. Whether we're cooking it or whether we're eating it raw, we'll find out. Can't believe I'm doing this! <laughs> Mark Frost, right? 
Tak asi je ten rúf, ale... Ja už som si čakal. Ja pokiaľ tam mám. It's all right. I wouldn't say it's not nice. But I wouldn't be a rush to be doing it again compared to the other stuff I've got here. <laughs> but thanks for the introduction. <laughs>